Yellowstone eruption truth. What is really going on at the supervolcano? Uh, this is because of the downgrading of the five magnitude quake that we had two days ago. One of the USGS geologists has resigned because USGS downgraded it to 4.4. There's an earthquake swarm going on there. And unfortunately, USGS is very quiet about it, not mentioning it again. Yellowstone eruption 2016. Shocking new video shows what's really going on in Yellowstone. Over the past week, our planet has been hit by large earthquake after large earthquake. And according to volcano discovery, there are 38 volcanoes around the world that are erupting at the present time. We have seen a dramatic spike in global seismic activity that is unlike anything that we have seen in ages. And that is why what is going on at Yellowstone is so incredibly alarming. Geologists tell us that a full-blown eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would have up to 2,000 times the power of Mount St. Helens volcano that erupted in 1980, and approximately two-thirds of the country would immediately become uninhabitable. Two-thirds of the U.S. As you'll see, in the link I'll leave below for you for a four minute video. There are signs that something big is getting ready to happen at Yellowstone. If it does erupt, all of our lives will be permanently changed forever. In the video footage, you'll see that it's just a few hours of uh, the time lapse of the geysers, a few geysers of Yellowstone, which are continually spouting gas and steam continuously it's not just every 20 minutes that the uh, old faithful for example gushes it's continuously it's as if the whole thing is a boiling cauldron underneath going back to the article it says i want to share with you some footage from yellowstone that was recorded yesterday, Thursday night. In the video, it appears that it's a bright, it's a bright as day, even though it's in the middle of the night. You can see the whole host of geysers streaming violently, and Old Faithful just keeps going off over and over. It's stunning footage posted by a YouTube user known as Cat Martin, 2016, and the following is what she has to say about the video. She says there are places steaming that I have never seen steam before. And also note that the bright ground is back. There are no shadows, so it's not from above. As you know, the cameras were froze up last night, so we could not see what was going on, or so we thought, but I found a way. Somehow, don't ask me how, the Geyser Observation Study site was able to capture the entire night with no freeze-ups and cutting in and out. How is that? Anyway, I got it and slowed it down so you can see it. Old Faithful had weird seismos last night and was going off constantly. But it wasn't just that one night. The weird activity at Yellowstone has continued and you can watch even more recent footage that Cat Martin has posted. And what does this mean? I don't know, but watching that footage definitely got my attention. And it's interesting to know that just a few weeks ago, the Shoshone River changed color and started boiling without any warning whatsoever. The Shoshone River near Yellowstone National Park suddenly and without warning started boiling, changing color, and began to emit a sulfuric odor on March 25th. Nearby witnesses wondered if they were all going to die. The current consensus among geologists and other experts is that a portion of the Shoshone River began to boil, located near Cody, Wyoming, and a new Yellowstone vent has opened up. As Mysterious Universe reports, the boiling river near Yellowstone runs just east of Yellowstone National Park. It's close enough to the park and supervolcano 
to be a canary in a coal mine as it relates to unusual geothermic events. The event was initially recorded by Dewey Vanderhoff, a photographer who spotted the Shoshone River near Yellowstone boiling and noted that bizarre features in the river. Other bizarre features were there as well. When a river located above a supervolcano that could wipe out most of the country starts boiling, you would think that you would make headline news over the nation, but it didn't. Well, we wonder why. They don't want people to panic. That's why. It would be exceedingly difficult to overstate the potential danger that Yellowstone poses to the United States. Other than an extremely large asteroid or meteor, it's hard to imagine any natural disaster that would pose a greater threat. The following comes from an excellent article by Steve Elbert, and he says, The Yellowstone caldera, or cauldron, sits on top of North America's largest volcanic field. 400 miles under the Earth's surface is a magma hotspot that reaches up to just 30 miles below ground level before spreading out over an area 300 miles across three states. Three states. Overall, this sits a volcano. While most scientists believe the probability of a major eruption is very small, there are signs that have some analysts worried, and most agree the volcano holds catastrophic potential. It could blast 240 cubic miles of ash, 240 cubic miles of ash, rocks, and lava into the atmosphere, rendering about two-thirds of the United States immediately, immediately uninhabitable, according to some estimates, and plunge the world into a nuclear winter. That certainly does not sound good. And as I mentioned above, volcanic activity all over the planet is rising. 38 volcanoes are erupting at the moment, and it seems like we, we hear about another new eruption almost every day now. Let us hope that Yellowstone does not erupt anytime soon. There are approximately 3,000 earthquakes in the area around Yellowstone every single year, so it's a very seismically active region. In the event of a full-scale eruption of Yellowstone, virtually the entire northwest United States will be completely destroyed. Basically, everything within a 100-mile radius would be immediately killed. Salt Lake City would literally be toasted, and almost everyone and everything in Denver, Colorado, would be dead in a short order. Further away, volcanic ash would rain down continuously for weeks. Those foolish enough to step outside would quickly discover that the ash turns into a substance similar to cement in the lungs and many would die from suffocation. This is what happened in the eruption of the volcano of Pompeii when people were found solidified as rock because of the substance that they breathed in. They turned into something like stone. The amount of volcanic ash released by Yellowstone would be almost unimaginable. In fact, it's been estimated that a full-blown eruption would dump a layer of volcanic ash that is at least 10 feet deep, up to 1,000 miles away. Volcanic ash at least 10 feet deep, up to 1,000 miles away. Food production in America would be almost totally wiped out and the volcanic winter would result from a Yellowstone eruption would dramatically cool the planet everywhere. Some have projected that global temperatures would decline up to 20 degrees. In the end, the death, famine and destruction that we would experience would be vastly greater than anything that we have ever seen in the history of Western civilization. So yes, there is a reason to be concerned that weird stuff is going on on the Yellowstone right now. Let's just hope and pray that we do not see an eruption in 2016 or anytime soon. This is on the Daily Sheeple, April 20th by Michael Snyder. And I'll also leave a link below for you for the video.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.